Hello and welcome to an episode of AVR Gaming. My name is Jacob and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cool Minecraft drum kit. So as you can see we're in my Minecraft city world and the first thing you come across here is this cool new music store that I put together recently. And that got me uh, to designing a new type of drum kit that I thought you guys might be interested in seeing a tutorial on. So we got a big guitar, so it's rock star um, musical instruments. Uh, so yeah. So this is the old style of drum kits that you may have seen in other people's builds and in tutorials and stuff like that. So this was this is kind of the standard on how to make drum kits in Minecraft. At least it has been for a long time. Uh, but we're going to scrap this because though it looks kind of alright, it's very blocky and not very elegant looking. Nor is it all that accurate. And w instead we're going to opt for this. So in here, you can see in this uh, display window of my uh, music store here, you can see my new drum kit design, which heavily utilizes uh, player heads and skulls, or whatever you want to call them, as tom drums, and a whole bunch of other little knickknacks to try and liven up the drum kit and make it as accurate as possible. Uh, as you can see here, we got one in another color there. Uh, so, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to a theater that I've been working on and install a kit just like this. Uh, so, let's head over there right now. So, right next door is my, my lovely Minecraft theater, which I am in the process of furnishing. And this is going to be the perfect place to install our drum kit. Now, I actually have one that I have installed earlier, as you can see here. Uh, so this is what we're going to be making, but I'm going to scrap this and I'll show you how to build it step by bloody step. So, the first step that you're going to want to do is add a carpet under the drum kit. Now, I am just using a bunch of shulker boxes in the middle of this stage here as a little raised carpeted platform. Uh, but you can do whatever you want uh, under the drum kit, but drum kits, if you've ever played a drum kit without a platform under it, you know it's a bloody nightmare to use, so always in real life have a carpet under it, and I recommend putting one in your Minecraft world just to get make, make it look more realistic. Shulker boxes are great at this, because uh, they do look very carpety and really patchy and cool when you put them together, though they this obviously is a much more creative-oriented uh, build than in Survival. Uh, so I'm actually going to use a shulker box as the bass drum. The main reason for this is, one, I like the patterning on it, and two, uh, they don't connect to iron bars, for example, because a normal block, you put iron bars on it, it connects like that. Same with fences and all that jazz. So I just like to use it like this. Uh, and the way we decorate this bass drum is, I like to add some frames on either side. Those will be the drum heads. And you can color this with uh, a sheet of... Uh, stained glass to add different colors to the drum head as well. So I like to use a black one, but you can play around with colors by all means. Uh, next we add the bass drum pedal there. That is uh, the, fit, the little kick drum pedal so that you can actually use it and hit the drum, which is really cool. <laughs> and on top we're going to add a little uh, lever there just to hold another drum head in a second. So our next step is adding some little stand here and uh, adding our tom, our floor tom. So this is going to be our biggest tom drum. So tom drums are just basic um, drums that are not that are smaller than the bass drum, and you can do fills with them and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's the biggest one that sits on the ground. I'm using uh, this green-colored um, mossy cobblestone because it's the only block that really fits the color scheme because I'm using green because we're using zombies, uh, zombie heads as our other drums. So we just put a uh, pl another one on this little pillar here, our zombie head, and I'm going to put one uh, just uh, clicking shift and clicking it right onto that lever and that way it looks connected to there and there's our two little toms and our floor tom. Uh, also for floor toms you can use something else for example, I actually have three examples here. So these are all the player heads that you have in-game. Uh, you can actually use commands to get uh, any Minecraft player head you want into the game. Uh, so you can actually decorate your world in really cool ways by utilizing that. Uh, but uh, in vanilla Minecraft, these are the heads that you get, um, at least in creative. 
in, in, in game it's very difficult to get these, so I wouldn't recommend doing this drum kit in normal uh, survival. But yeah, we got the green mossy cobblestone is the closest thing we can use for a zombie head. We got this diorite wall for our skeleton, the white drum kit. For the black drum kit we have the wither skeleton and some nether brick. And they all go together nicely, and you can also use a grindstone, but it doesn't really match any of the color schemes, so I would avoid the grindstone unless you're using a gray drum kit build. Uh, but it is an another nice little block that you can throw in there. Uh, so yeah, those are your color options if you're not uh, in using commands to bring in player heads, which, you know, isn't very difficult, so I recommend learning how to do it. Uh, but now, we're missing a snare block, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a random uh, block. This is just a waste block and we're gonna put it there next to our drum kit. So you want this to be when uh, the drummer is sitting, you want this to be on the left hand side. And so what we do there is we just put our zombie head right onto that block because the cool thing about player heads is they don't um, they don't sit centered unless you um, place them on the ground and then you can kind of turn them around and do all sorts of weird things but if you put them on a block on a wall they actually raise a little bit and go to that side of the block you can see here so then you can remove that and your snare is actually floating above ground but it gives it a nice it looks a little weird but it gives it a nice bit of raised <laughs> quality to it so it helps the drum kit look a little bit more cool and dynamic by having them all at little different heights. So that's going to be a snare. So for those of you who don't know, the snare is the drum that has like springs under the drum head to give it a bit snappy sound when you hit it. Then we're going to want to put our cymbals and hi-hats in. So I, I just like to put my hi-hat right here. Uh, unfortunately we can't really differentiate the two, but it's just, just going to be made of iron bars and a golden pressure plate as the actual cymbal portion of it. And uh, the other one I like to put here. You can always mess around with the placement of these things a little bit, but this is this is the most realistic and the my favorite placement that I've found for these so far. So we're just going to put another one there, and then you can use your block of choice uh, as a slab, or you could even use a a player head as a, the seat, for you could use a a really dark player head there or something as the little drum stool. Or you could use a slab like this or whatever little seat you want to have for the drum kit here. For example, if we get rid of this and we use this guy. This could be a nice uh, representation of a drum stool as well. Whoops. So yeah. And that is our drum kit complete. So yeah, I hope that you found this little tutorial helpful. I really uh, tried to make this drum kit as realistic and as uh, dynamic and cool looking as possible to just be you know better than that old blocky one we got in the past because we have a lot more options to play with now and I think this is a really effective looking drum kit and it adds a lot to your uh, builds. You can put these in the corners of you know bars and restaurants on like a little stage. You can obviously make a stage uh, like I've, I've made here and just you know the it's details, it's the little details like this that really add a lot of spice and life to your Minecraft worlds. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a whole bunch of other instruments and other little knickknacks and other tutorials later on in the series. But if you guys have any cool tips and tricks on how to do stuff like this and other little uh, cool ones that you don't, you think most people don't know about, let me know that in the comments below as well as what you'd like to see me design and do a tutorial on in the future. Uh, but for now, that is it for this little video here. Uh, go away, guys. Bye. <laughs>